Hello, Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you. It's Monday. Monday is tips day. No traditions this week, just tips, just from me. But I need yours. Send me yours. I'm running out. This is like number 72, I think, of these that we have done. I've gone through and numbered them because Dave complained I hadn't numbered them. So, you know, what Dave wants, Dave gets, right? So this is, I believe, going to be number 72. Um, doesn't mean I know what date is going out, but it's number 72. So I don't, you know, I've, there's a lot we've given out. I'm running out of ideas. I need yours to keep this thing going. Or I'm just going to start from number one again and just resubmit it as if it's number 73. <laughs> You'd never know. You're not going to waste the time going back to 71, to number one, to see if I'm lying or not. I know that. All right, three tips from me this week. The first one, uh, parties on board. Did you know that they have parties on board? A lot of you do. A lot of you don't. A lot of you, when you get on board, wish you knew before you left so you could bring appropriate clothes for said parties. Ah, I, uh, I usually have a suit that's somewhat appropriate. You know, but I don't go to the parties, so it's kind of a waste of time, really, isn't it? Anyways, uh, if you're wondering where they are, I'm going to put the link in the comments, um, just in case it's not there when this video comes out, because the one drawback to me producer or producing, making these videos in advance, is that I cannot make comments until the video goes live. At least I can't work out how to make comments. That way. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. But I can't work it out. Um, so I have to put a note in my calendar when video comes out on the day and add this link. But there is a link on Carnival to see what events they have for the parties on board. If you just do like a Carnival onboard cruise events, because uh, it's carnival.com forward slash onboard forward slash cruise dash events. It's, it's all right. So you do the onboard cruise events Carnival, it's going to come up. The main ones they have are the Mega Deck Party, Line Dances, 80s rock and glow party. Back to 80s music, thank goodness. But for a long time, it was line dances. White hot night party. You'll never guess. Probably line dances. Uh, sail away party. Absolutely line dances. Uh, and then they'll do... Uh, some will have like a Motown party. Some ships. Uh, some. I know the Venezia, for example, is going to have an Italian street party. So some ships have their own special parties that aren't... The, the norm. If you go to the link I just told you about, it's going to show you the Megadeck Party, the 80s Rock and Glow, the White Hot Night Party, the Groove for St. Jude, which is not really an event dance-wise, but it's a very important event to raise money for an incredibly good cause. Um, Sail Away Party and Holidays Aboard. So uh, they're the main ones. And then uh, next to each event, it'll be there'll be a button. Click what ship is this on, and you can click on, the, on that. And... Um, you can uh, see what ship they're on. So it's not on, they're not on every ship. But I mean, the sail away party is on every ship. The group of St. Jude is on every ship, but the other one's not necessarily on every ship. So you can click and it will show you if it's going to be on your ship. And then if you want to go to the white hot night party, you can take a white outfit. If you didn't know about it, you're probably not gonna pack a white outfit. Just throwing that one out there. So there you have those choices on them there. Now be warned, like I said, Get ready to line dance at almost all of them. Even the Christmas, right? So, and I've said this before, and it still bugs me to this day. Uh, a couple of years ago, we did a Christmas cruise on the Radiance. All oh, a lovely Radiance. And uh, Julie wanted to go to Christmas carols. I don't really care about Christmas carols, but she does. So I, being the nice guy, went, you know. Uh, and I kid you not, everybody's lined up in their Christmas sweaters. They're, you know, they're all dressed up, ready to sing. Uh, they've all got eggnog. I got a red stripe. You know, we're all ready. Uh, I don't know if they had eggnog. I do know I had a red stripe. Um, and uh, the cruise director comes up. And he goes, ah, you're ready for Christmas. They played. And I kid you not, all I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey. And then they did the Cupid Bloody Shuffle. You know, people want a kids free cruise. I want a line dance free cruise. Who's with me? No line dances and no ducks. That's my that's my dream cruise. No kids as well. No kids, no line dances and no ducks. That's a cruise I can get behind. Kidding. 
All right, that's that. <laughs> I dig myself a hole. All right, next. That's one tip. I got two more, and they only get worse. Punchline the Comedy Club. They have a page on Facebook. If you want to know who your comedian is, it's not guaranteed, but go to the Punchline of Comedy. The fans of the Punchline of Comedy Club. Look it up on Facebook. At the top of the page, under the Featured tab, they have like a calendar of what comedians are going to be on what ship. Now, it doesn't have every comedian. They don't all post their schedules. But a lot of the comedians will forward their schedule to the person that runs the page, and they will, every couple of days, update that calendar to show you when your favorite comedians may or not may not be showing. Uh, like I said, they don't all do it. I know, like, CJ does. Uh, CJ is just basically the king of social media, so... You know, if there if there's a if there's a day when I don't see a post from CJ, it'll be a, a sh I'll know something's wrong. I'll have to check in on him and see if he's doing okay. But that's why CJ CJ because he is the king of social media. Uh, Doug po po Doug Williams posts his. Uh, Lenny Schmidt posts his. A lot of them do, uh, but some of them don't. Like uh, Billy D Washington doesn't post his. Uh, Vince Morris doesn't post his. So they don't all post it. So don't panic if there's. You know, you don't see your favorite comedians on there or even that you, you don't see a comedian at all in your particular cruise. It just means their comedian's going to be on there, but they're not ones that post their schedule. But it's a way to check to see. You know, it, for me, it can make a difference. If, if, I'm, if I'm picking between two cruises, I'm going to go there and I'm going to see if I know either comedian on either cruise. And that might sway me into which one I do. So, you know, you could do the same for the uh, Piano Barbarians if you love the Piano Bar players. There's a Piano Barbarians page on Facebook for Carnival, and they do the same thing. They've got the featured button at the top, and they'll list what piano players are on what ship. Again, they don't all do it. Some of them don't want their schedule known. Each to their own. I don't know why they wouldn't want people to know, but um, they don't. I'm sure there's a very valid reason. Uh, I just don't know what it is. I would think that you'd want people to know. I mean, I, you know. Oh, I'll leave that one there. Moving on. I'll get myself in trouble again. So that's it. Fans of the Punchline of Comedy Club or the Piano Barbarians Carnival page. And you can see what comedian, what piano player is going to be on what ship. Not all, but a good number to give you an idea to help you with your cruise. And a lot of those comedians actually post on those pages as well. So uh, you can get some free comedy clips or free piano clips or what have you. Last one for this week. This is a, I Actually, I quite like this little tip here. Um... Everybody, this tip only applies to people uh, that are on your time dining, not early, not late. So if you're on early or late dining, this is the last tip this week. If you're never going to cruise and do your time dining, you can go. Class is dismissed on your end, unless you're intrigued as to what my tip is. <laughs> All right, here is my tip. I think everybody that has the Hub app that's done the your time dining knows that you can check in online for your dinner. But just a, just a thought in the back of your mind, when you check in, it tells you what the wait time is. So if you're planning on going to dinner at seven, I would recommend that you check at six, every, every 10, 15 minutes even, just to see what the wait time is, especially on a formal night, a lobster night on the seven day cruise, for example, because sometimes the wait list to get in can be 40, 50 minutes doesn't always end up being 40 to 50 minutes, but it could. So if you want to eat dinner at 7 because you want to do something at 8.30 and you check in at 10 to 7 and it says 40 to 50 minute wait, you're not going to make that event at 8.30. You, you go check on there at 6 and it says 40 to 50 minute wait. You know, you can check in 10 minutes from then or then or whatever. And then you should get a time slot more appropriate to the time you want to go. Simple. Simple tips can go a long way. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, so on the hub, if you're your time, monitor the wait list before you be ready to check in. Don't wait until your check-in time and be disappointed. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. All right, I got loads more tips, but then I won't have any for next week. So I'm gonna do more next week, which means I'm gonna do more in about 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's about that. So with that, if you'd like to subscribe to my little channel here, please, please do so. Uh, hit the little bell and you'll get notifications when these videos come out. Send me your tips. And then one of these times I could be reading your tips out. I do not read them in advance. I close my eyes. or oh, I don't close my eyes. I take my glasses off, which is basically closing your eyes. 
copy paste it, print it and bring it in here and I go live with it. So I don't read them before, um, I react with my British sense of humour, which is all it will ever be. Never, never mean. Gets me out of a lot of trouble putting it that way. We'll leave that one there. And then uh, if you have any, or your traditions, send me your cruising traditions. What do you do on a cruise every time that might not be what everybody else is thinking of? And uh, ask me any questions. My email is coming up. And with that, I will see you later, Cruising World. Until next time.